Queensland side is the fullback Alan Mills from Valley's Club and he had a magnificent game on Wednesday night. Queensland are looking for another great game from Alan Mills today. Johnny Lang, who's still playing in absolute top form for Queensland, winning scrums and uh, carrying out an amazing number of tackles, certainly one of the stars of the Queensland team. Referee for the match is from Sydney, he's Gary Cook having his first interstate match. One of the top, well, he is considered the top referee in Sydney today, Gary Cook. Fine but overcast conditions at Lang Park with a crowd of about 20,000 to see the final match of the series. Queensland took a 2-0 lead with a penalty goal by John Rhodes after five minutes. We pick up play with New South Wales attacking. The fullback's underneath him and uh, with assistance, a nice break then, this New South Wales halfback to Donica's doubling round, only 12 yards out from the line to Randall, out further to Reddy. Reddy slipped the pass into Goodwin. Goodwin's nearly over on a Faye, and Faye's over for the first try of the match. New South Wales lead 3 2. And what a great try it was. Of course, it all came from that break at the scrum, and it was a perfect double around by Tommy McDonagus. Half. Randall. On it goes a nice short pass to Goodwin, and Goodwin in the tackle gets the ball away to the winger. Fay and a good try to New South Wales. In the uh, first interstate match here on Wednesday night by 10 points to 5, Randall. And Rogers, Steve Rogers, got support, doesn't need it, he'll probably get over. Back it comes to McMahon, and McMahon's over for the second try for New South Wales, and New South Wales lead by 8 points to 2. Wales because they're really determined to open up play. This is ready, 10 metres short of halfway to Peard, the 5 8 and the cross now out wide to the fullbacks into the move with Randall out there, the second row. On to Goodwin, up to the halfway mark, Goodwin, and they're really moving well, aren't they? Goodwin on to McMahon, the winger slips straight back onto Randall, as easy as that. Loose ball, and Oliphant dives on the loose one, just as um, New South Wales looked like they're having a training gallop with the New Queensland now sending it back onto the halfback, the cross to uh, 5 8 Prier. And there are two tacklers in to put Crea to ground. Uh, Donnelly, one of them, Conan was the other one. 12 metres short of halfway. The Oliphant, the Queensland halfback, and uh, this is right. Bad play from Queensland the other yeah, way, and this is Randall. Look at Terry Randall, straight through there, just about score himself. Back it comes then to the hooker Paponis, and that's the third try for New South Wales. They lead by 11 points to two. And that all came from a set move at the uh, edge of the ruck. With a double around, the dummy to the one go, the player going one way and the player picking up Randall's going the other way. He made the split down the middle and flat it was a nice half position. The dummy there. Back into Randall. Randall down the middle. Weak defence from Queensland. Rhodes couldn't get there. Back over the top. of Painters had to turn to, to take the ball, but easily got over for the try. He's well and truly up fast in the last 20 minutes of this first half. It's a big effort the other night to contain New South Wales, keep them to a 10-5 win. But uh, I think that hard match the other night has uh, paid, taken its toll of these Queensland players. And they're certainly looking at tired side now. Korea jarring the Queensland attack, going back inside far too much. Dodonik has put the ball into the scrum. It's a Queensland ball as it goes to Carr on the blind side. There's the fullback Mills. And that's Platts. Good run from Greg Platts, the halfback Oliphant's there, and on comes Rhodes. Good break then from Platts, the uh, Toowoomba second row forward, Oliphant. And uh, this is Platts again. Did, did well to get it on to Gardner, but uh, it was looking at his uh, man marking him, McMahon, and some Rogers will play it back. Fitzgerald into dummy half position to uh, Peard, and uh, there's the lock ready. Moving well. Gathered by Peard. Peard with a bandage around his left knee. That's Higgs. And there's the half-time hooter sounding with New South Wales leading Queensland by 13 that points to two. Match. Having scored for that break uh, by Gardner that was started off by Mills, of course, who made the break down the middle, but uh, quick hands to the left-hand side of the field. Could have seen a try immediately. John Payne, the kicker for Queensland, about 25 metres out. And raises the flags. So, quite a good start to the second half from uh, Queensland, who are well. Greg Taps to play it back on the Queensland.
Queensland quarter line to Oliphant. No one's in position for the Queensland back line. Harry Cameron eventually takes it. I spread all over the place like Brown's cows then. It was uh, completely hopeless. The halfback looked across and there's only one man he could possibly give it to and it went to Cameron. There's the pass. Uh, Oliphant. Oh, Rodonicus over the top. Swinging right arm and uh, of the Queensland halfback. Oliphant had a very good game the other night. Meantime, a New South Wales player is out injured further back in the field in the half position when Randall eventually is allowed to play the ball to Peard. And uh, offside would be Higgs if he goes through, but he's in front of the ball when it was taken. Mills is there, but Mills gets away with it over the quarter line. A very good break. Rogers trailing through away from the first one. On it comes to Gardner, and here's the flying winger. Can he get away from Goodwin? Look at Gardner, the crowd are roaring. Goodwin's got him covered. And a good tackle from the New South Wales fullback to put him down. Replacement player Bowstead, 14 jersey for Queensland in dummy half position. On it comes to Oliphant. That was electrifying. On to Platts. Biggest thrill the Queensland crowd have had uh, in this game. That great run by the beach sprint champion, the Australian beach sprint champion Gardner. Out to David Wright. There's Creer and uh, moving it on to Cameron. A difficult one for Quinn. Right over his head and into touch. And so the scrum 30 metres out from the New South Wales line. Now to Oliphant and to Wright and uh, there's Beavers and Cameron the most experienced centre in the Queensland uh, lineup. and uh, Queensland lucky to retain possession with uh, Carr the lock to uh, play it back to John Lang to Oliphant and uh, Wright that's clear Pats Pats sees the gap and he could go through Pats Pats is almost through and he's over the first try to Queensland scored by Greg Pats and New South Wales lead 13-7. Well, it's been a concerted con attacking effort by Queensland in the last oh, five minutes. And they have, now it's uh, moved across to Payne and back to the halfback Oliphant. Moving on to it is uh, the uh, Cameron, Harry Cameron. Tackler is Fitzgerald. Oliphant kicks for the line. It's going to run into touch. A good kick from Oliphant. Takes play up to the New South Wales quarter line. The break's going Queensland way now. They're starting to settle down and play football, but they are getting uh, their share of the breaks. That bounce went into uh, that ball went into touch. A good bounce for Queensland. And there's Priya. He's uh, all right again now. Into the attack, across to right, and uh, Payne. Ronicus holds to him, slips it back to Oliphant. Oliphant caught by Fitzgerald. The New South Wales being called on to uh, defend. Uh, uh, quite a lot now, against a very strong Queensland attack and breaking through his beavers over the quarter line. They've got new life in the second half Queensland and they're really trying out New South Wales. An amazing comeback from the Maroons inside the quarter line now as it comes to Wright. Wright's running across there. He's got the winger with him and very nearly through Gardner. But uh, excellent tackling again to stop him. Five metres out from the line. One tackle to go. And bursting through over the line goes uh, Lang. Langs through for the second try for Queensland, and it's 13 10 to New South Wales. But it's been all Queensland in this last 10 minutes, hasn't it? Please? And so, what a great fight back by the uh, home team. New South Wales have scored three tries to two, lead by three points, and Queensland, without a recognised goal kicker, it's John Payne, the second row, to take the kick from right out on the touchline, having missed a very easy one in front at his last kick. The first kicker for Queensland today was John Rhodes, who left the field at half-time. And he kicked uh, one goal from uh, one attempt. Payne has kicked on occasions for his club East in, uh, in Brisbane. Injured player on the sideline is David Wright, receiving attention, the Queensland front row forward, as Payne attempts this conversion. Queensland trailing by only three points. Payne the kicker, but it's well away. No! You could be wrong. It, I thought it was dropping down in front. It looked certain to go down in front, but it skimmed the bar. And it's 13-12. New South Wales leading by one point. They still come up this way to his plats and sending it on to his half-back. And here's John Payne, fending away from the tackle, the first one, but an ankle tap and allowed to get going. John Payne looking for the support, and there's the support coming through Quinn. 10 metres out. New South Wales defending desperately again now with Carr into the dummy half position. Oliphant, there's Wright, and dummies and goes on his own, David Wright. The full support of this 20,000 crowd behind the local players now as they sense that they might be able to score again. 
A field goal attempt from John Payne was there. Another one pointer that's level, 13 all. Good kicking from Queensland. Obviously, that had been set up, and Platts was there to give the ball to Payne, and they all knew what was on. It was obviously planned, and uh, and good play to Queensland. Uh, however, I felt a try may have come up. They had to kept it, uh, the attacking pressure on New South Wales then on their own try line. Greg Beavers, the Queensland and, uh, and looked to where he was passing and knocked the ball on. And so it's about 15 metres out from the Queensland line. We'll have another scrum, it seems. Yes. Five minutes left. The score, 13 all. And the New South Wales ball, Radonikus, 10 metres out. New South Wales now in a strong attacking position. Can they clinch the game from here? Peered the 5 8 moving round then as the winger coming through from the far side. Here's Randall. Randall just about through, wasn't he? But a good tackle then from the 5 8 and also Carr, the lock forward, is over the top. Now to Peard. And down the middle comes the fullback Goodwin. Crunch. He ran into four red jerseys. Higgs, dummy hard. And slipping it was the dummy with uh, Fitzgerald coming through. Higgs to play it back. Radonikus. And Peard, the field goal attempt from Peard. This one must be pretty close, and it's, it's it's there. No, no, he signaled it was not there. For the moment, I thought he was signalling it was there, but he put his hand straight out. And uh, so that was a very close one. The score remains at 13 all. New South Wales uh, not moving the ball wide as they did in the first half. And uh, this is Lang. <laughs> Oliphant. Half back, dummy half. And uh, that's the second row moving through as it comes across. Penalty to New South Wales. Well, I can't understand why the penalty was given, uh, indicating a man offside, or was it a shepherd? Must have been a shepherd, I think. Platts was the player in possession for Queensland, and it's uh, another chance for the kicker, Cronin. This is uh, about 30 metres out, about the same distance as his previous kick, the one that he missed, it's just a, a little bit off centre but close enough to being in uh, centre field, he's kicked one from three attempts at Mick Cronin score 13 all about three and a half minutes left in the game and hasn't it been a tremendous recovery by Queensland in the second half? It's an almost unbelievable recovery when you could see just how easily New South Wales were going in the last 15 minutes. minutes or so of that uh, sec uh, first half There's the kick from Cronin. This is close again, and up they go. New South Wales hit the front to lead 15-13 in the dying minutes of play, and that kick will probably win the game for them and give them a clean sweep of the series. Caught by the Queensland halfback, over the top coming Morris, midway between the Queensland quarter line and the halfway mark. Time's ticking away for Queensland. This is Goodwin, the fullback, coming in for New South Wales. Platts was one of the tacklers. Rodonicus and uh, Fitzgerald. Carr was the first man to the tackle. Rodonicus and uh, the 5 8 there, and here's Rod, Rod Reddy. Just inside the Queensland quarter line, that's the sixth tackle, the scrum to go down, and the full time hooter should be coming up at any moment with New South Wales leading 15 13. Queensland leading the scrums 10 9. The penalties favour Queensland 11 8. As this final scrum goes down, a little bit of time wasting. New South Wales has scored three tries to two. And it's a Queensland ball as Oliphant sends it back there. There's the pass from Oliphant to Mills and the full-time hooter has sounded. And that's it. New South Wales have made a clean sweep of the series and have defeated Queensland by 15 points to 13. <laughs>